The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, second chapter, text number 11, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on October 1st, 1975, on the island of Mauritius. Blessed Lord said, while speaking learned words, you are mourning for what is not worthy of grief. Those who are wise lament neither for the living nor the dead. Sri Bhagavan Vasa Asachyan Anasutasam Pragyabhadam Sabhasasi Vatasam Avatasam Sa Namasutan Tipandita this is the version of Krishna in the beginning of Bhagavad Gita. First of all, it is said here, Bas the author, not author, the compiler, who recorded the talks between Krishna and Arjuna and then put it systematically in a book form. So, he says that Bhagavan was. Bhagavan, Bhagavan means the Supreme Person. Just like in this meeting, uh, amongst my students, I am the Supreme Person. Similarly, in the state, there is a supreme person, the president or the prime minister. So everywhere he find out one supreme person. Without a supreme person, nothing can be managed. Order giving person. This is. Uh, everlastingly existing, and you cannot avoid this. Uh, even in communist country, they also have the supreme person dictate. So, taking the whole universal affair, the nature, how things are going on, the sun is rising early in the morning. It is setting exactly in due time. Then the moon is coming. Every one in the big, big planetary system, they are working very systematically. The astronomical uh, calculation is so perfect that they say one ten thousand part of a second is also calculated. And so accurately things are moving. Uh, <coughs> so in the Brahma Sangita it is said uh, that Chakshuresa Sabita Sagala Grahana, the sun is the eye of all the planets. We have got eyes, but unless there is sunrise, what is the value of our eyes? We cannot see. Huh? We are very much proud of our eyes. We want to see everything, but we do not calculate the value of our eyes. Huh? Unless there is sun sign, we cannot see. At night, unless there is electricity or moonlight or some lamp, we cannot see. And they still get very much proud of seeing. This is called illusion. We have no power. We are put under certain condition, then we work. Otherwise, we cannot work. Prakitekriya ah. Prakriti, material nature, puts us 
under certain conditions and we work accordingly, not independently. And the prakriti, material nature also working under somebody. It's like when you go on the street, you see red light and green light. As soon as you see green red red light, you stop your car. So this red light and green light is being manipulated by the police, and the police is working under government. Similarly, this whole material nature is acting like red light or green light, but behind that red light or green light there is the Supreme Brain. That is the Supreme Personality of God. So, as a layman or a child cannot understand how the red light and blue light, uh, green light is working, he sees simply he thinks automatically it is being done. That is foolishness. It is not being automatically done. There is machine, there is a manipulator behind this red light. So this is intelligence. Anyone who is concluding that on the street the red light and green light is working automatically, there is no brain behind it, he is a rascal. Similarly, the whole material cosmic manifestation is working. Even the big sun planet, it is also working under certain direction. The structure is Sushavita Satyalagrahana. Without sunrise, nobody can see. Not only in this planet, in other planets also. Sakalagrahana. So, this sun plan is so important. Uh, day and night, year and millions of years, everything is being calculated on the solar system. So, this powerful planet is described as the eyes of everyone. Without sun sign, nobody can see. That sexuality is sabita, sagaragraha, raja, it is to be considered as the king of all planets, raja. Sagaragrahana, all the planets, they are moving, rotating on the heat of the sun, heat and light, and they are working on the light of the sun. Sun is so important, everything is described in the basic literature. So that sun also working under somebody's direction. Just Shagmaya Brahmati Sam Jitakala Chakku. The sun is rotating in the orbit at the speed of sixteen thousand miles per second. And by the order of somebody that is moving. Yasyāgyā bhramati saṁ vidakāra chakra gūvindramādi gūrudam dhamāṁ vajāyāt. This is knowledge. This is knowledge. So the Supreme Person is Bhagavā. Bhagavā means six kinds of opulences. The richest, the most powerful, uh, the wisest, the most beautiful, uh, uh, the most influential, and the most renounced at the same time. Uh, it's like this whole cosmic manifestation is created by the will of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, but you will not find him here. This is interesting. 
Many millions of universes are working by his will, but he is not interested. For example, just like a big but, uh, capitalist, he has got many factories. And if you go to the factory, there is a Tata factory, iron factory, you will find a huge factories going on. But a Tata, Mr. Tata is not there. Uh, things are going on. Similarly, uh, all cosmic manifestation going on. It is under the lead of Krishna, but he is not present here. Uh, <coughs> that is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Vasthani sarvabhutani. Everything is resting on me. Uh, any factory, every worker knows that the whole factory function resting on the Supreme Person. He knows that. So actually fact is that Masthani Sarvabhuta Nahamte is Avasti. But I am not there. I am not there. Hmm. Similarly, uh, Bhagavan means that. He, under His will, under His power, everything is working so nicely, systematically. But uh, if you want to see God, Krishna, uh, you cannot see Him. He is not there. He is in Guru Buddha. Uh, but His influence is so extensive that even without His personal presence, things are going on so nicely. Uh, this is called Bhagavan. Bhagavan means this. So, here in this Bhagavad Gita, that Bhagavan is giving you knowledge. So how much perfect it is you have to consider. Vasudev could have said, see Vasudev was no Bhagavan was so authority. So whatever he says, there, is, there cannot be any change. It is all perfect. Unfortunately, we, the scales, we do not take Bhagavad Gita as it is. We want to change it according to our things. This rascal has ruined the whole world. Otherwise, if we would have preached Bhagavad Gita as it is, the world situation would have been different. Everything would have been in order tranquility, peace, and everybody would have been prosperous, but the rascal did not do that. Oh. That is the defect. Therefore, our team effort is how to present Bhagavad Gita as it is. This is our mission. Uh. If we take, if now, in this distorted condition of the world, if we accept Bhagavad Gita as it is, then it still will be benefited. There is no doubt about it. Therefore, our appeal is that throughout the whole world, people should come to understand Bhagavad Gita and set up examples and do the needful, then everything will be peaceful. This is the peace formula. Uh, Bhokkaram Yagadhausam Sarvaloka Mahisaram Sridam Sarvabhutam. Sridam Sarvabhutana. Srid means Vaibhisa. But here is the supreme Vaibhisa. He wants, Krishna wants, that wherever you live, uh, you live peacefully and happily. Uh, therefore he is called Srid. He is desiring everyone's happiness. Therefore he comes himself to advise, to instruct how to live, how to follow his instruction. And he leaves this behind him such books as Bhagavad Gita and he sends his representative of his energy to uh, revive our consciousness. 
this this business is going on. Uh, not only in the human society, even in the animal society, uh, anywhere, even in the demigod society, uh, things are going on like that. Therefore you should know whatever Bhagavan says, there cannot be any mistake, any illusion, any cheating, or any imperfectness. Then it will be very nice. And that is the fact. Uh, the word used, Bhagavan also means this instruction is neither mistaken nor uh, illusion, nor cheating, nor imperfect. Uh, whatever we teach, we speak, we condition so, as I say, that we are very much proud of our eyes. But we cannot see without sunrise. We cannot see without electricity. But that is our defect. We are possessing everything defective, still we are proud. We are perfect. That is cheating. We are not perfect. But Krishna, Bhagavan, is not like that. If we think Krishna is also like us, Abhyananti Mangamurha Manasin, because he teaches Exactly like a human being, he appears. Uh, therefore, we think oh, he may be a little more intelligent than me. After all, he is like me. No, he is Bhagavan. We have to understand. <coughs> so the problem was that Arjun was not willing to fight, considering uh, his uh, family members. Uh, as not to be killed. Nobody, of course, would like to kill his family member. So that was natural. Uh, but this family relationship or national relationship, community relationship, uh, this is due to this bond. Uh, I accept somebody as my uh, brother, because he has got the body from the same father uh, from whom I have got this body. The, but the body uh, is um, byproduct of the father's body. So this bodily relationship is material. Uh, material means outward. External. It is not real relationship. The father is a soul, I am a soul, my brother is a soul. Uh, so we are related on the uh, spiritual platform in relationship with God because soul is not matter. Our material father is, material father means we see the material body. You do not see the soul of the father. Neither the father sees the soul of the son. Everyone under uh, illusion, we are simply seeing the body and accepting man. So this illusion was to be uh, removed by Krishna. And therefore he said, asacchan or asuchastam. You are lamenting over the body. Ah, it is very difficult. You are lamenting over. So, Chanam is also. What is this body? It is simply lump of matter. As soon as the soul is out of this body, what is the value of this lump of matter? Uh, it will be thrown in the street and somebody will kick on the face. Nobody will care. Nobody will care. But so long the soul is there, it will touch the hair even. Uh, why you are touching my hair? Huh? But when the soul is not there, on the same piece, and somebody kicks, nobody will care. Huh? This is the position of the body. That's what he says, also charm, it is garbage. Why you are lamenting on this garbage? Huh? Also charm, also you are talking 
very learned man that if I kill my brothers, the my brother's wife will be widow and there will be prostitution and then the whole family will go to ruin. These are all external conditions. Uh, eh? This is real education. We are thinking on terms of the body. Therefore, uh, it is a very important subject matter. Real subject matter, what will happen to the soul? That is real important. But the whole world they do not know what is important. Uh, all the scans they are concerned with this body. That is not uh, wonderful, that is natural. Uh, even if we know, still if there is some bodily pain, we become very much disturbed. But <coughs> we should know always, remember, that um, I am not this body. The same example that uh, I have got a very nice car, Rolls-Royce car, I have got a task, that is all right. But we should know always that I am not this Rolls-Royce car and different from. This is knowledge. Uh, I may have some attachment for my car, that is natural. I paid for it, I liked it. Uh, but in spite of all these considerations, I am not the rules of uh, The rules of uh, it is a uh, lump of matter. I am using it. Similarly, we should always remember uh, that I am using this material body for my transaction, different transaction. But I am not this material body. Uh, but a devotee, he uses this material body, uh, utilizes it properly. Uh, uh, just like we are also going by aeroplane, by motor car, uh, but we have no concern with it. I have come to your country uh, by aeroplane not to see your country. I have come for Krishna's business. Uh, to see if I can induce you to Krishna consciousness. Uh, otherwise, uh, we have no concern with this aeroplane or motor car or anything. Uh, we take advantage. Similarly, when we take advantage of this body for advancing in Krishna consciousness, then it is very nice. Nidbandhi, Krishna Sambandhi, that is also renouncement. He has no attachment. He simply uses things. Uh, then that thing becomes spiritual. Uh, actually, it is spiritual. And when it is not used for spiritual purposes or Krishna's purposes, it is material. The same thing. Uh, what is the difference between material and spiritual? Uh, that the picture is there. There are so many pictures. People may say that here is the same picture why these people are worshipping and uh, offering arati and chanting. Uh, but the, 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 uh, this picture is spiritual because it uh, enhances or enthuses a spiritual consciousness. That would be spiritual. Uh, of course, it is not very easy to understand immediately, but uh, the ultimate issue, everything is created by Krishna or God. So by seeing everything, if you remember Krishna, then that is spiritual. If that is spiritual. So anyway, for ordinary man, this does not happen. Uh, therefore Krishna says, that you are lamenting for the body, uh, it is astonished. And you are talking like a very learned man. Everyone is fine talking very learned man. And he knows something. But asking what you are, I am Indian, I am American, I am Mr. Sutton Sutton, father of Sutton Sutton. 
body. However great he may be, he is identified with the body. And according to Shastra, so long we shall identify with this body, we are no better than the cats and dogs, because they also identify with the body. Uh, therefore Krishna says, as a chan on his tam prajava dansa prasa. See, why? I am wrong? Yes. Because the tasum avatasum is The body, whether with the soul or without the soul, it is material. Uh, so, uh, so long in the soul is there, we should not be very much interested in the body comforts. We should be interested how to make progress in spiritual concepts. Uh, general people, they are simply uh, engaged to get bodily comforts. Uh, the whole world is going on. The material civilization means uh, bodily comfort. They are increasing their activities. How to, they take it as civilization. That to increase the bodily comfort supply. Uh, that is their idea. But they do not know that even if we are able to increase to the uh, largest extent our bodily comfort, the body will not exist. Uh, it will die. But we do not see to that. Uh, that Never mind, we shall die. So long we live, jāvat jīvet sukham jīvet. So long we live, let us live very happily. So it is a great science. They do not know that you may think that you are living very happily, but you have to change this body, and that body may not be very happy. That they do not know. This is ignorance. Moho. Mohitam Raviyana. Being bewildered by the three modes of material nature. They do not know what is the actual fact. Therefore, we have to learn from the perfect person, Krishna, what is this position. Here it is said that Asachanana Sutastam Prajnavadang Savasasi. Gatasam, avatasam is so nice. This is not the subject matter of uh, eulogizing or lamenting. The subject matter should be different. That is so. Then we will explain. Next one. Thank you very much.